There are very little shows out there that I enjoy more than Kamen Rider. Having grown up watching shows like Power Rangers when I was a little kid, when I was introduced to Kamen Rider by my best friend, I instantly fell in love with it. But what exactly is Kamen Rider? How did it start? Why did it influence me to want to get a motorcycle? And why has it been a pop culture phenomenon in Japan for over 50 years? Let's find out. To understand Kamen Rider, we need to go back to the year of 1971. Kamen Rider was created by Shotaro Ishinomori, a manga artist and writer who you probably know as the creator for Cyborg 009. Kamen Rider was a TV show that combined superhero action with a touch of horror. In Japan, shows that are live action and make heavy use of practical effects, like in Kamen Rider for example, are called Toksatsu, literally meaning special photography. Examples of Toksatsu include Godzilla, Ultraman, and Super Sentai. Yes, this is Super Sentai. Not Power Rangers, Super Sentai. Power Rangers was the Americanized adaptation of Super Sentai, which is now more widely known than Super Sentai. Don't blame me, I live on a different type of island nation. I'm gonna smash you in there! You fucking dead! God, get me the fuck out of here. Also with Power Rangers, people tend to gloss over the... The racism? Oh my god. Punch my mama in the throat, karate kick my daddy in the chest, what the fuck? Okay, sorry, sorry, I got sidetracked there. Anyway, the original story of Kamen Rider follows Takashi Hongo, a young motorcycle racer with a cannon IQ of 600, who was kidnapped by the evil organization Shocker. They experiment on him, turning him into a cyborg, but Hongo escapes before they can brainwash him. He decides to fight back against Shocker and other evil forces as Kamen Rider. A masked hero who rides around on a motorcycle, can jump really high, and punches people. Unfortunately, during filming of the 10th episode, the actor for Takashi Hongo would suffer an injury by falling off of his motorcycle. The staff who were filming said it would be better if they killed off the character. But toy producer Toru Hirayama opposed it by saying, We can't destroy the children's dreams of being almighty. So the character was thus temporarily phased out and replaced with another character called Hayato Ichimonji. And it worked! The series became a massive success and saw over 90 episodes, with the actor for Takashi Hongo actually making a return once he got better. Now I know what you're thinking, this is cool and all, but how does this last 50 years? It looks incredibly dated. Well I mean for starters, yes it is dated. Although there is plenty more than just this. Kamen Rider has gone through three eras, Showa, Heisei, and Reiwa. And with each individual error, there's its own series with new characters and new plot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to say the name of each and every Kamen Rider that has been announced. Ichigo, Nigo, V3, Rider Man, X, Amazon, Stronger, Sky Rider, Super One, Zed Cross, Black, Black RX, Shin, ZO, J, Kuga, Agito, Beauty, Fize, Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, Deno, Hiba, Decade, Double, Oz, Forze, Wizard, Gaim, Drive, Ghost, x Build, Z-O. Zero One, Saber, Revice, Geats, Gotchard, and Gav. You made those words up. No, 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 those are real words. Kamen Rider isn't just a TV show. It's a cultural touchstone that has influenced Japanese pop culture in countless ways. From toys and merchandise to movies, manga, video games, and even references in other forms of media, Kamen Rider is literally everywhere. There's a song in Animal Crossing called Go KK Rider, which is themed about Kamen Rider. There's a character in Bleach, themed about Kamen Rider. There's a character in One Punch Man, who's themed about Kamen Rider. So, why should you watch Kamen Rider? If you're a fan of superheroes, science fiction, action, or just great storytelling, then there's something for you here. There's over 30 series to choose from. There's a Kamen Rider for literally anybody. If you like dark and edgy topics, you've got Kamen Rider Black. If you're into more of a silly show, you've got O's. Personally, my favorite rider is Wizard. That design is just... <sighs> so, what's your favorite Kamen Rider? Feel free to let me know in the comments, or if you're completely new to it, please, please watch it. You, you will join the brain roll. This isn't a request. Okay, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.